Well, hello there, Faith Pocatello Daily here. It's Friday, the 3rd of February. February. Got to get that R in there. Matthew 5, verses 8 and 9. Ooh, two verses today. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. And here's the challenge is the pure in heart is difficult for us, right? It's difficult to be pure in heart because we realize that our hearts are deceitfully and beyond cure. Who can know it? Well, God can know it. And he has given you a heart of flesh. That is the new creation in Christ has a pure heart. And so we, we sit there and we find this tension between the two, the heart of stone that is deceitfully wicked and beyond cure and the heart of flesh that is pure. Um, we're told in 1 John chapter 3 that we are children of God and, and, and that those who, who look to that and have that hope that we are being transformed into his image, purify themselves. And when we have this pure heart, then we have the heart of God that looks for peace. Remember one of the things that Jesus desired more than anything was that his people, his children would have peace. This peace I leave with you in this world, you will have trouble, many troubles, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Peace I give to you, not as the world gives to you, he said. And so now that we've received that peace and we have, we have that purity of heart, we can desire peace for others. And I think that's something that we really need to look at. Do we desire peace for others? Um, I think at the core I do, but sometimes I don't, right? Sometimes I'm like, ah, I don't care about them. They can just deal with their life, right? But we should desire peace for others. Why? Because Jesus has given us peace. So we should look for peace as much as it's up to us. Be at peace with all men, uh, Paul tells us in Romans. So, May God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share.